alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today I wanted to do another sit down video on the topic of ADD, that's Attention Deficit Disorder. I did one a while back on my channel and surprisingly a lot of you guys seem really interested by it or it seemed to affect you personally, like you dealt with the same thing. So you really liked hearing what I had to say on the subject, you wanted another video, it helped you. So yeah, that's why I'm back today. If you haven't seen the first video, I'm going to go ahead and link it on the screen or below or something because that explained a lot of my feelings and I think that you guys should probably watch that one first. I also have a story time where I talk about a teacher who bullied me for having ADD. ADD. If you do not know what ADD is, it is a learning disability that basically makes it so it's really hard to focus in school when you're working, when you're driving, when you're basically doing anything. Overall, I just really want people to take some understanding or learn something new that they didn't previously know about ADD or be able to relate and help someone if they do struggle with this and sort of get my tips and talk about how I've overcome this and been able to deal with it better so that I'm able to just live a normal life. Obviously, this is not a life-threatening condition, but it really does affect people, especially if you have it to the level where I have it. Like, if I do not take my medication for it, I am a potato, like I get nothing done. I will stand up to go do something and I'll forget what I was going to do as I'm walking over to do whatever I was going to do. And I'll have to go sit back down and think about it for 20 minutes, then I get sidetracked and then I just end up wasting my entire day or I'll be late for stuff because I am just not able to time manage properly. When talking to people and having conversations, this is something that really has always made me feel inferior. For example, if someone asks me a question and I don't respond fast enough, I've had friends or people in my life, strangers that I've met, who have gotten really easily frustrated with me because they think I'm not listening, but sometimes it just does take me a minute to sort of understand and like comprehend what they said and be able to come up with a response. Same thing goes for when I'm talking to people and maybe I'm like, oh, how was your day? And then five minutes go by and I'm like, so how was your day? It's just because I have a lot going on, my thoughts are racing, and so I'm thinking faster than I can really say words, and that's where the rapid speech comes in. But sometimes I forget if I already asked the question. This sort of thing doesn't happen all the time, and a lot of people might say that is short-term memory loss, but it actually is really something that goes along with ADD. Like, I have it happen to me a lot just because my thoughts are everywhere. It's hard for me to focus and remember what I've already said or what I already haven't. A lot of the times I get comments on my videos saying that I talk fast and I definitely do. I think a lot of it has to do with my ADD and that I think a lot faster than I can say things. So I'll be like, I can think a lot faster than I can say things because I'm saying things basically at the rate of speed of which I'm thinking them in my head, or sometimes I'm so easily distracted by something else going on that I'll speak almost too slowly, or I'll just completely switch the subject in the middle of a sentence because I can't keep my mind on just one track at a time. Like right now, it's really hard for me not to just like think about the airplane that I can hear outside and start talking about that or just like freeze and stop talking altogether. So this really is something that I've had to be more aware of and kind of train my brain to stay on track when I am talking about a specific topic. Another thing that I've always struggled with because of this is interrupting people. I do not do it on purpose. I don't want to say I can't help it, but it's something that I have to be very aware of not to do when speaking to people and having a conversation. Like if I'm talking about something, especially if it's important to me, someone interrupts me, it's game over. Like, you're not gonna hear what I had to say. I'm gonna forget what I was saying because then I'm listening to you and then I'm zoning out. And then I was like, wait, I really had to tell you something. I've been thinking all day about telling you this thing that I was about to say and you interrupted me and now we'll never know. The world will never know what I was just going to say. It's really like that, like no exaggeration. If I don't get something out right when I remember it, I'm probably never going to remember what I had to say because I'll forget it. So let's just hope that it wasn't important whatever I had to say. So I think that's another reason why I struggle with interrupting people at times because I know that I'm going to forget if I don't say it instantly. These are just some more things I wanted to add from the last video that I feel like aren't as common when it comes to ADD. Like they're not the typical things that people think of, but they're there. Another thing that goes along with ADD or is sort of like another form of ADD is ADHD, which I did not touch on too much in the last video. I just sort of merged them together because correct me if I'm wrong, but it's 2017. I don't think anyone refers to it as ADHD anymore. I don't think it's like the medical term anymore. I'm pretty sure they just put them together. But basically ADHD is attention deficit hyperactive disorder. And a lot of the time people are diagnosed with both or they are considered the same thing. When I was younger, I was definitely very rambunctious, very hyper. I was 
not that bad compared to a lot of kids I've seen with ADD, let me tell you, or ADHD, sorry. But I would say that is a big reason why I do this with my hands. I'm just kind of constantly in motion. I can't sit still for very long. That would be a perfect example. I cannot sit still in a classroom for like two hours. Some of my classes are like three hours and I can't wait to get out of there. Like I'm fidgeting. I have to get up and go to the bathroom just so I can literally walk down the hall and like move because I can't sit still for that long. Another thing that goes along with ADD, I mentioned this in the last video, I think a little bit, but insomnia, I have insomnia. I've struggled with it my entire life. Also my medication that I take, Concerta. A lot of these prescriptions that are prescribed for ADD or ADHD, they keep you up late at night. So if I don't take it right when I wake up for school or relatively early in the morning, there's honestly no point in taking it because I'll just be up all night. Like there's no going to bed. But then again, if I don't take it, I'm not gonna get anything done. And then I'll just be like a zombie, not able to focus, not able to film videos, not really able to do much of anything, at least in a timely manner. Like everything takes me three times as long. So it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. But even before I was on medication, I've always had insomnia like my entire life because I just get so fidgety. It's hard for me to wind down and go to sleep. Insomnia is just something that I would definitely associate with ADD, ADHD. They're all kind of in the same category. Another thing that I do is I'll just make really impulsive rapid decisions. Not in like an irresponsible way, but I just mean like if I'm in a rush, like I'm late for work. I used to work at Target. I backed up into my brother's truck. Like I rear-ended straight into it. I have a backup cam on my car. Like you don't even need to look behind yourself. Like you can look into the camera and see what's behind you. But somehow I managed to literally like back up into his truck and dent my car and his truck. That was awesome. I've done a lot of things like that just because I'm in a rush and I'm thinking about like where I need to be and where I need to go and how fast I need to get there instead of being like, okay, let's calm down and back out of the driveway safely, you know? So I would definitely say that my ADD is a big reason why I've made a lot of the stupid decisions that I have. For example, the other day I was making noodles and I was waiting for the water to heat up forever. Turns out I heated like a different circular little pot heater. I can't think of the word. I heated up a different one than the pot was on with the water. So that's why it wasn't boiling. I do things like that because I'm not paying attention 100%. If I have a time limit on anything as a whole, like I mentioned in my last video with testing, I don't do as good of a job because I'm rushing it because all I'm thinking about is having to meet the deadline. Like if I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I don't have that much time before class, I will do a terrible job and half the time that ends up making me late because then I end up like spilling my makeup or something crazy because I'm just that like in a rush and knocking things over. Like I said earlier, I backed up into my brother's truck when I was late for work when I probably would have been fine. For me, the transition from doing math homework to brushing my teeth is such a process because I forget what I'm supposed to be doing because once I get into something, I can keep it going. I'm in there, I'm in the zone. But once someone interrupts me or once I have to switch up and do something else, it's just all over again. I gotta, I gotta get focused. I really truly hope that this helps someone because this is something personally, I've been really hard on myself over the years, but I finally come to a place where I feel proud of myself for all that I've accomplished and I feel like I can help other people. There's also some other things in my life I really would like to make videos on similar, not ADD, but like things I've been through or overcome or seen in my life that I want to help other people with like I really do as much as I love telling stories and conspiracy theories I also want to be able to get back to you guys in some type of way even if these are not the most popular videos on my channel I enjoy making them and I like to be a little bit more real with you guys so thank you for watching it really does mean a lot if you guys like this video if it helped you in some way please give me a big thumbs up be sure to leave a comment below if you guys want to share your story because I would honestly love to hear them and I will be reading all of them subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll have an annotation on the screen or below or something don't forget to turn on post notifications because YouTube has been glitching. People are getting unsubbed. I don't know why. Just turn on post notifications. That way you are notified when I upload. You can be part of notification squad and follow my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. You now I do daily broadcasts. They should be on the screen somewhere. Check those out. Hit me up and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.